Hey everybody, Kelly Atchison at astampabove.com. I almost forgot who I was. <laughs> Coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. How are my peeps today? I am gonna wait for a few people to just pop in. As you can see, it's sunny here in Wisconsin today. I have my blind closed. Maybe if I opened it, I wouldn't have stripes. Let's see what happens. Oh no, now it's worse, right? But I love seeing the sun. This is fabulous. Oh, I just heard I just heard Steve come in the house and I left my door open by accident. He doesn't like that because I'm kind of a loud mouth. Will you close my door for me? I will, big mouth. Big mouth, see, he just called me a big mouth. <laughs> That's what I told him. <laughs> hi Lisa, hi Tundra, Rachel. Uh, some more people popped in and I missed them. We got Lisa, Sarah, Ruth, Karen. Peggy, Connie, woohoo, everybody's popping in. Kelly's here, Teresa, Terry, welcome. Terry told me she's off for the next three days so I can do my live anytime. Thank you. <laughs> I know she's giggling on the other end. Hi, Lori, Marilyn, Heather's here. Heather, I just, is that, was that my Heather? I call her my Heather. I just called Walgreens because um, Steve and I need to go and get pertussis shots. That's one of Haley's things that she wants us to do is get pertussis shots. That's whooping cough for anybody that might not know. Hi, Cindy, Bev, Jackie. And um, yeah, so I called them and they have them in stock so we can go anytime and get poked. Ooh, that sounded a little risque. No, <laughs> I don't know why my mind goes there. Oh my goodness, are you guys having a good day? I had, um, a, my day just kind of got away from me, like it's already 6.15 practically. I had a two hour Zoom conference call this morning, which was hysterical. My friends Barb and Dina, we just, we just laugh until we cry and we say very inappropriate things to each other and it's pretty hysterical, but we were actually doing business along with some personal chat, you know, checking in, seeing how the family's doing. Um, Barb and her family are doing fine. Nobody's killed each other yet. And Dina is doing okay, too, with the kids home. But um, we just really had a good time chatting this morning and solving the problems of the world. I'm sure, like, you do when you talk to your girlfriends. <laughs> but we got our newest online class hashed out. So I just put it on my online class button on my blog. And I posted a link to my Facebook page so you guys can check it out if you're interested. We are going to be using, of course, the Ornate Garden Suite. Let me make sure I'm showing you the right flyers here. Yay! And I have been playing with this. We're going to play with it again tonight. I absolutely love it. And um, I was thinking about it, too. I'm like, it's, it's kind of a lot, right? Like, it's got a lot going on with it. The dyes are so intricate and amazing. And, and maybe for some people, it might not be their style. And I know, we all have differing styles, right? But um, before I get done with you, you will love it. And you're welcome. <laughs> I guarantee it. Hi, Haley. I just saw Haley pop in. Haley was here most of the afternoon. Um, she's working on her scrapbook album again, and oh, I can't hardly wait to show you the pages. But I'm gonna wait till she's here, because it's her deal, and it's her, like I don't wanna burst her balloon or rain on her parade. She's working really hard on them, and she's finding that scrapbooking for herself, rather than making projects for me, is quite difficult and time consuming. Because when I ask her to do something for me, I take a suite of products and I give it to her and I say, I need you to create stuff with this, right? She was explaining this to me today. And um, it was funny because she said, creating for myself, I know what I want, I find a layout, that's what I'm gonna go with, but she has to pick from so many different products to get the end result. <laughs> and it's like, wow, it's taken her a long time. It's been a little frustrating, so. I saw somebody say it's 85 degrees there. I am jealous. Hi, Cindy DeWitt. I am happy to see you on here. I see Karen popping in too, and Joe. Um, yeah, Joe says she hopes Stampin' Up! continues to make dyes that gorgeous and elegant. They really, really are. I see Seal here, and oh, here's Sarah. Sarah, I'm happy to see you here. Pam and Kimberly. 
So, um, yeah, so Haley was here and then she went home because I think Jared was going to be getting done soon. And um, I can tell you guys that she was feeling really, uh, like her stomach was really tight again today. And I looked at the calendar. Do you know that today is April 1st? I tried to think of an April Fool's joke for you guys, but I just couldn't. So I'll share something that Haley used to do to Steve and I every single year in just a minute. But um, I was looking at my little calendar today. And today's April 1st. And I'm like, oh my, two and a half weeks. She's due in two and a half weeks. How did that like fly by so fast. I mean, I know she's having a baby, but when I looked at my calendar, I was like two and a half weeks. Oh my Lord. So that's so exciting. And for those of you that may have missed it, there's a lot of people that have posted and it's so fun to read your predictions, but I do have a contest on my page here. You'll have to scroll down and find it. It's got a picture of Haley with her belly. Um, I shouldn't say that with her belly. It's got a picture of Haley and Weedley. We haven't met her yet, but we will soon. And you can predict what she's going to name the baby. Her middle name is going to be Lee, so we know that. She's also due on 420, if that gives you any type of little, some bearing on it. So we need you to predict uh, the first name, the date of her birth, how much she's going to weigh. What was the other thing? Oh, and the time. The time she's born. Just in case we have some ties, which we probably will. But um, go over there and vote. I want to hear what you have for a name. There are some very interesting names on there. And I have to say, one that I really liked was Harper. I like that name. Mm -hmm. So, um, Lynn says, thanks for Haley's contest. You are very welcome. I think it's very fun to try and predict stuff like that. And hi, Nancy. I'm glad to see you here. We call her Naughty Nancy. She's a character. <laughs> Barb's popping in and Connie welcome Jane is gonna be here she's I'm going to be a grandma soon yes exactly it's pretty exciting but um anyways I was gonna tell you about Haley's April Fool's joke so she I, I, it's funny she did this for years every April 1st I would come down you paddle into the kitchen you know you're half asleep because I got to get up early to go to work and walk over and I drink tea. It wouldn't have mattered if I was a coffee drinker or a tea drinker, but I do, I drink tea. So I go to fill my water up and throw it in the microwave and I turn on the water and she's got a rubber band around the hose sprayer thing. Psh, and it's pointed right at me. I crank the water on, bloosh, you get blasted with the sprayer. And I used to get so mad. Oh my Lord, so mad. Like I would be so mad because first of all, I'm half asleep. Secondly, that's the last thing you want to do is just be all soaking wet. <laughs> I would be so mad. And I was thinking about it today as I was in the shower. That's what I was pondering over was April Fool's Day and about how Haley used to put the rubber band around the sprayer on the sink and I would get sprayed every day. And then Steve, the same thing would happen to Steve. And, um, I kind of miss it. <laughs> is that, is that twisted and weird? It's a little weird, isn't it? So I was telling Haley that today that I was thinking about it and I kind of miss her little April Fool's joke. Not that I want to get sprayed, but it was really funny. And after I got done being mad, of course she was never up with me. So I would get over being mad and then I thought, gosh, you're such a genius. That was good. <laughs> so it was funny. And somebody said the baby's due date is going to be May 1st. I don't think so. <laughs> That's not going to fly. Haley, don't listen to all that negativity about May 1st. <laughs> oh my gosh. Connie's working on cards while she's watching. I'm happy to see that. Um, Mickey says, my father-in-law would be bearable to get that close, I bet. Would be able to get that close. Yeah. So I don't know what that means. Anyways, I really didn't watch the news today. I'm not really sure what's going on um, with our current situation. But I know that if we don't laugh, we'll cry. And so we need to do a lot more laughing because crying makes you old, I think. Crying is exhausting. Laughing perks you up, makes you want to give her a little bit more, right? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, 
Oh, and then I talked to my mom today. And um, the first thing she told me, you guys have heard the squirrel stories, right? First thing she told me is that, did I talk to you yesterday? I'm like, well, I did call and talk to you. Oh, so then you know what I did, huh? And I'm like, what? Like, I can't remember what, which one of the things you told me about. And she said, um, she goes, well, I went outside. There was a squirrel in the bushes and I missed him twice. <laughs> I was just laughing and laughing. I thought, oh, this is going to be a great story. And she shot at him twice. Remember, my mom had, my mom's going to be 75 years old, but she thought she was going to be 74, but she's already 74. She's going to be 75 years old. She has a loaded shotgun in the kitchen. She doesn't like squirrels. And so she shot at him twice. She missed him. And then her gun jammed. And now her gun's jammed. <laughs> That's just exactly the way she said it. It was hysterical. But anyways, when I talked to her, she's doing good. She's going to call the grocery store and have um, groceries delivered to her car for pickup. So that's good. I was happy to hear that. And her and the kids, my sister and her three kids are there with her, are going to all go four-wheeling today. And how fabulous that they can do that, right? They're just going to go jump on the four-wheelers and go down the lane. My mom owns 40 acres. Go down the lane and go through the woods. There's trails all over for the four-wheelers and they're just having a blast. But she did say that when it's time to do their homework, they start crying and she doesn't like that. <laughs> So, it was kind of cute. So, yeah, Grandma's got a jammed shot, jammed shotgun, and uh, I'm sure my brother will take care of it. He lives up there by her, too. So, anyhow, how many of you tweezed your eyebrows now? Because I heard from a ton of you that you shaved your legs, which I thought was hysterical. Um, Did you tweeze your eyebrows? Who did it? I need inquiring minds want to know. I am trying to get you guys to stay in shape so that when this CQ 2020 is over and we are let loose back into the public that you do not have to take a bunch of time getting ready to go back out into public. That you are groomed and looking like a million bucks. That's what I want to see. <laughs> and I told you that when we get to go back out, I'm going someplace. And I am going to be ready to roll and I'm going to help spark the economy back. That's what I'm going to do because I can't go out to lunch and I can't go shopping. So Kelly, Kelly's here. She says she always shaves and tweezes. Good for you. Good for you. Okay, so Kelly, are you going to call baby Weedley when she's, hang on, I missed it. When she's here as a nickname? Probably. Um, Haley will probably shut that down. <laughs> but maybe not. It'll be funny. I'll do it when she's not around. <laughs> That's probably going to be the baby's nickname forever, Weed. <laughs> oh my Lord, how am I going to explain that? This poor child. Hmm. Yeah, anyways, did you see that the Green Bay Packers, well, you're probably if you're not local, but they're going to have an old Packer game on TV on Sunday. Like, this is what our community's doing for us to keep us occupied. We have no sports to watch, um, but they're going to have, they're going to replay an old, Packer game, and I think even maybe the Super Bowl when they won it back in 1837 or something. No, I don't remember the year. <laughs> but anyways, they're going to do that. So I think the guys are going to be pretty happy about that. And then a uh, big shout out to my friend Denise. Denise is my friend that lives, um, t lives in Arizona in the winter. And Haley just said, you better not. <laughs> See, I told you she would shut that down. <laughs> But um, Denise lives in Arizona in the winter, and she lives here in the summertime. And Steve and I were supposed to be there right now. We would be on our way home uh, tomorrow. Yeah, so we're not there. And Denise and her husband came home early to help out their kids. They've quarantined themselves. Don't worry. Um, they're going to quarantine themselves for the required amount of time. And then they're going to be helping their kids out with their children. But... Denise had to come over and pick up her order and when she did she left a little goodie bag and in that goodie bag were lemons fresh from Arizona because I loved seeing the lemons on the trees like we don't see that around here and oranges and then she had a big slice of lemon pie that was delicious Steve and I both enjoyed it and she made a bunch of chocolate chip coconut cookies and I have to tell you that the cookies are mine because my whole family hates coconut. They're just no fun with the coconut. 
Like, I want to make cupcakes with coconut and then bunny butts on them. But I can't because nobody will eat them except me. So anyways, I get to eat all the cookies because Steve's like, oh, those have coconut in them. Like, yep, they do. I was pretty happy about it. All right. Are you guys ready for a little bit of stamping? Um, yeah. Oh, and I wanted to tell Terry, this is what's left of your Kit Kats, girlfriend. So this bag, yeah, Haley had probably one and I ate the rest. <laughs> I did. Is Bev on here watching? Because she's going to have a chat with me. <laughs> I keep eating all this stuff. Don't worry, Bev. I've been weighing in. I am good to go. All right. So, um, winner from yesterday. So you need to leave a comment so you can get put in the drawings, whether you're watching now or later on YouTube. And um, you can just say, I'm coming to you from Bismarck, North Dakota or whatever. <clears throat> but at least leave one comment. And uh, the person who won from our Facebook Live yesterday gets this happy birthday to you stamp set. I just happen to have an extra one here. And it is going to be Amy Spear of Al Albemarle, Albemarle, North Carolina. Amy Spear of Albemarle, North Carolina. You are the big winner. I hope you're watching tonight. Now, Amy, I do not have your address. So you're going to need to email me your address. And my email address is kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at astampabove.com. And I need to read this message that came through here. Uh, Terry said, Krabby husband said, Green Bay, they won about four Super Bowls. <laughs> yeah, I know. But, um, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to get to watch one. That's fun. But anyways, Terry, or I mean Amy, Terry, Terry about the Super Bowl. Amy won the stamp set. Congratulations, my dear. And I have to tell Judith... I did not mail these today. I don't know what happened. I lost my mind. Um, I do have to tell you guys, though, yesterday was the last day of celebration. We talked about it, of course. And today, I just felt like I was just completely hungover. <laughs> like yesterday was super, super, super busy answering lots of last minute questions and emails and phone calls. And the last day of celebration can get absolutely insane. And so today I woke up and I was like, oh, my Lord, it's over. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love celebration, but the last day can be a bit much. <laughs> All right, let's see. What else do I have? I think that's about it, you guys. I think we're ready to... Oh, I need to get myself up on my screen. I see my cousin is sending me messages, and she's not watching me. <laughs> She needs to get on this page and watch me. She's the cousin I went and visited when we were um, we went to Kansas to see my aunt. So I'll have to tell her she needs to be watching my live videos because if nothing else, she'll get a good chuckle. And she's a stamper. She should be watching, right? Oh, I see Pat just popped in too. Okay, I'm going to put this to the side. I think we're ready to turn things around. Oh, I got to get some lights on. Hang on just a second. I got to get my lights over here. And I want to say welcome to all my new team members. I got a whole bunch of new team members during celebration. It was actually quite outstanding. And if you joined my team, I'm trying to put my cord up. If you joined my team, welcome. And just know it'll take me a little while to get your names down. Because you know I'm terrible with names, but I will get them. <clears throat> Melissa got her order in last night at 9.30. I know lots of people were. Did you have any problems with the website? Because... Lots of times it'll like kind of crash a little bit. Oh, and Terry bought the entire ornate suite. I'm, I'm happy to hear that because you're going to get a whole bunch of goodies from me for that. And we're going to talk about it a little bit. So I think we're ready to flip. Hang on to your hats and close your eyes if you get motion sickness. I'll let you know when you can open them back up. And I think we are good to go. Well, hang on. Let me adjust just a little bit more. There we go. I think we're good now. So <clears throat> I call this a monthly host code. It's not actually monthly. It's a host code till I change it. And I'm going to leave it for a little bit more. So I just want to let you know that you're going to, somebody's going to message me and bless your heart for keeping track of me because God knows I need help. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> excuse me, this host code is still good. 
And when I change it, I'll let you know. So if you plan on placing any orders and your orders are under $150, you want to use this code. If they're over $150, do not use the code. You're going to get rewards from Stampin' Up. I want you to have them. You will find my online ordering button at my blog address in the right-hand column is the online ordering button. Now, I'm going to be bringing in the Ornate Garden Specialty Designer Series paper. If you guys saw my blog post for today with the Stamping Society. We have a blog hop. Everybody used this suite of products for their projects in the blog hop. So if you missed it, you want to go check it out right here on my blog. Once you scroll down past my projects, you're going to see a link or a, a list of names and you can click on each name and it'll take you to each blog. It's pretty darn cool. And can I just say that my Stamping Society friends are very talented. So... um. <clears throat> These are the projects that I made for the blog hop, and I only actually made one of them. I made this one. This one, Haley designed. So this is her design, and I just used the other side of the paper. She had everything cut out for me, and instead of using this side and this side, I used this side and this side, which is the opposite side. So, right? Boom, boom. Boom, boom. No. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. There you go. So anyways, I just flipped it over. And it's a great use of designer series paper. It doesn't matter where you cut this piece. You just cut it at a slant and then put it, turn it over and put them together. It's, it's pretty awesome, actually. So here's the inside of that card. And can I just say that this suite of products is amazing. I know I've said that so many times, but I love edgelets. And I can't wait to use these more because I have like a gazillion ideas for these. Um, that I haven't even scratched the surface with. So if you're looking for something to brighten your day, you need um, some new inspiration in your stamp room, I highly recommend ordering this suite of products. And here's the deal. With the Ornate Garden Suite, it's $136.75. I have listed everything included in this suite on my blog in that online ordering button, online class button. Um, you get the dies and the stamp set, and the embossing folder, and the ribbon, and the gilded gems, and another stamp set, and another set of dies, and the Ornate Garden Specialty Designer Series paper. Is that all? Oh, oh yeah, this is all other stuff. But you get all of that stuff for $136.75, and when you go to my online store, you can just do a search for Ornate Garden, or you're probably going to see it on the homepage. Click on it. It'll take you there. It'll give you this option to order the entire suite. If you're going to do that, I highly recommend that you add some gold foil paper to your order because this paper has the gold foil in it, and that is a beautiful accent for making cards with them. And as long as you're there, get an extra pack of this designer series paper so you don't have to be skimpy with it right? I hate it when I'm like, oh, I only have one pack and then I have to be really kind of chintzy with it and not use it to the full extent that I would like to use it because I'm afraid I'm going to run out of paper and then we try to hoard it and, you know, it's a whole thing, right? So once you do that, once you add the gold foil and this other paper, $150, and then you'll get Stampin' Rewards. Now, with your stamping rewards, it is the only time that you qualify for our exclusive host sets. And I want you to know this. You can use those stamping rewards and at $150, you'll get $15 to spend on anything you want. You can use them for these exclusive um, stamp sets just for hosts. It's not just for hosts. It's for anybody that puts in a pretty good order, okay? So at $150, you get 10%. At $300, you get 12 At $450, you get 14%. You also get one item at 50% off, blah, blah, blah. But you can only order this with stamping rewards. And this entire stamp set it has 15 different stamps in it, and it's only $10. What a deal, right? Now, I've had some people on my team that thought you had to use your stamping rewards only on these items. And that is completely not the case. It is optional. In the big catalog on page 205, when you have stamping rewards, you can buy this set. You can't order it if you don't have the rewards. And I really like this one. We've also got this one that matches one of our punches. Um, the Timeless Label Punch matches all of these. This is super cute. 
This one is adorable. And then we have this one and it matches our um, nested shape dies. So when you have Stampin' Rewards, you can get these exclusive sets. You can't just order them and pay for them. I just want everybody to know that because I kind of, you know, when you're so used to all this stuff, you kind of forget about things like that. Okay. And if you're leaving me comments, I can see comments coming through here, but um, I'm, yeah. If you have a question that I don't answer, I want you to ask it again when we're done so that I can make sure I answer your questions. And all of the people that are on here are so helpful, and they will probably answer your question if I miss it. But I hate missing questions. Okay, so did I, I did show you these, right? Yep. Boom. Very pretty. Okay, I think we're ready to stamp. So... I'm not going to be able to see your questions right now because I'm going to a different screen on my computer. We are going to make a gorgeous, gorgeous card with the Ornate Garden. I've got a card base here that is five and a half by eight and a half. This is Old Olive and it is one of the coordinating colors in the Ornate Garden Specialty Designer Series paper. Hang on, I'm looking for my... Oh, here it is, my bone folder. I don't know why, I always can't find that. It never fails. I should really look for it ahead of time so I don't have to repeat myself. Okay, so we've got our card base. Then, I've got a whisper white layer for the inside. I have a piece of this beautiful paper. This is three and three quarters by five. I've got a scrap of Blushing Bride, which is not a coordinating color, but I think it matches these flowers really good. So then I've got two strips of Crushed Curry. Now this color, the new color in this paper is actually called Bumble Bee. I have Crushed Curry here because we don't have Bumble Bee yet. It is coming out in one of the new in colors when our new catalog comes out. And if you are a discount shopper on my team, you're going to get that new catalog around the beginning of May. Super excited about that. And if you're not a member of my team and you would like to get that new catalog around the beginning of May, you can join as a discount shopper and get the catalog. Now, I also have a piece of Old Olive and this is two and a half by about six and a quarter. And I'll show you why it says about in a second. I've got a piece of Whisper White that is one and a quarter by six and a quarter. And I will type up these dimensions for you guys because it's a lot. I haven't been doing that with my daily Facebook Lives because, well, it's a lot. <laughs> but I'm going to type these up because there's so many of them. And then I've got some vellum cardstock. And I again, I've just got two strips of it here. It's about, it's about six and a quarter long and about an inch wide. Oh, that was a lot of stuff to talk about in a hurry. All right, here comes our stamps. I'm gonna be using this great big thank you. And since we don't have Bumblebee colored ink right now, I'm using Crush Curry. And I'm going to ink this up and stamp it right in the middle of this white layer. Did you hear me get louder? It's because I had to stand up. See if I can get it straight. Ooh, that looks perfect. Okay, once we're done with this, we're gonna set that aside. Now we have some die cutting to do. So we're going to use this die. This is an edgelet. This is an edgelet. And I've got my vellum. Okay. And I think you guys, oh, I think I just had a really good idea. I think you can do both of these at the same time because it's just vellum. So hang on. I'm going to bring in my Big Shot and see how well that will work. I actually already have these cut out so that you didn't have to wait so long. But let me, I got to get my platform on there. I need another cutting plate. And hang on, I've got hearts everywhere. Haley's doing her scrapbooking today and we got hearts all over. Ooh, that's a brand new plate. I don't want to use that one. Here we go. I always use the crummiest one for the bottom. You can use brand new ones for the top, but the crummy one goes on the bottom. Okay, here we go. Now, we're going to take this. The edge with the scallop on it, or the bigger, the bigger scallops, 
is going to be the edge that goes to the outside. You'll see what I mean in a minute. I don't know how to explain that. It's weird. You don't need to worry about this being super straight, so don't freak out over that. Nothing to concern your pretty little self with. Okay, here we go. Here's what we have. And I'm going to bring in my... Well, we'll do that at the end. We'll do this at the end. So we've got that one. Where did my other die go? Did anybody see it? Oh, my Lord. Oh, here it is. Okay, here's our other die. And now we're going to take these pieces and do the same thing. Well, I don't think we're going to do two of these. We're going to do just one because that was vellum. That's a much uh, lighter material. Let me look at this. I want the scallop to be near the edge. I'm going to have to get a little bit of temporary tape to keep this in place. Hang on, i got to put it on my pants, pull it off a couple times so it doesn't rip my cardstock. That just takes a little bit of the sticky off of it. All right, here we go. Do this. I'm gonna hold that down there. And here's my other plate. I'm gonna run that through. Okay. Oh, that looks so nice. Very, very pretty. And then what I like to do with my tape is I just take it and stick it right here on my die cutting machine so that I have it for next time. Now, here comes our Big Shot die brush. And yes, you will want this. I'm just gonna rip that off. You will want this. Look at how all the pieces just fall right out. I didn't even have to hardly do anything to it. Got one more right there. And one right there. Oh, we got some down here too. I love this little die brush adapter. It's fantastic. Now, wasn't that sweet? That's really nice. Okay, now we have this one. Look at all the little bits are out. And, oh, you want to cut two of those. And, of course, I've already done that. So I've got one here, too. We'll use that one. And then we're going to just set that aside for a minute. We're going to set these two aside for a minute. Get rid of that. Get this out of my way. Oh, um, this green layer is going to go through the ornate floral embossing folder, okay? And it's a little bit long. Don't worry about that. Just make sure that you put this end where the um, image starts in your folder. You're going to run this through with your blue plate on top only because it's one of our 3Ds. And then when you get that done, it's going to look Oh my Lord, just like that. And you're gonna have a little bit on the end here that isn't embossed. That's fine, don't worry about it. Don't worry your pretty little head about that. Okay, then I think we may be ready. Oh, we can have a little bit of stamping to do yet. Oh, I'm having a hot flash, Woo. Oh, and we've got some bits stuck in here. You guys know that I'm pretty particular about that. I don't wanna grab this next time to use it and have to clean it up. So I usually make sure that I have these clean before I put them back in the thing, and that just makes me happy. Look at that. There's only one left in there. Boom. Get yourself one of these. Put it in an old paper pumpkin box. Put a strip of magnetic whatever here. This can catch your dies so they don't get away from you. Um, and you don't accidentally throw them away, because I almost did that once. I think we probably all of us have done that or almost done it. Okay, next. Um, I am going to bring all the bits and pieces in here and we're gonna start putting this card together. And again, I am not on a screen where I can see your comments. So I will get back to you on those, just so you know. Whew, I'm hot. Now we have this petal pink. <laughs> I'm actually sweating, you guys. <laughs> we have this petal pink, or a blushing bride layer, not petal pink. Blushing Bride, sorry, that was confusing. And I've got all the words in the set. Like there are so many greetings. There's 19 different greetings in here. We've got why, my friend, seriously, ever so much, from the bottom of my heart, I'm, 
I wasn't sure how to for everything. Just wanted to say your kindness is so loved. You made my day. So here's a card for all your help. You're amazing from all of us for all you do. It's got everything, right? And then this set, oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful images. Some little flourishes. Love this. There's also dies to cut this out. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm a liar. There's no die to cut this out, but there are flower dies in here. So you have some flowers. That's pretty cool. Okay, back to this. I got off on a tangent. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring my words in and we're going to stamp this. Where am I going to stamp this? I'm going to turn this and stamp it. Yeah, this way. See if I can get it straight. Oh my Lord, that looks perfect. Okay, and now I'm going to take this and my little guillotine cutter. Who has the guillotine cutter? Oh, I'm so happy I have this. You can't get it anymore. Yesterday was the last day. This says I wasn't sure how to. Okay, and then we're going to take our other words. Now, notice I left a lot of room at the bottom of this. Now we're gonna take this one and we're gonna stamp this near the bottom. And that I got really straight to. Oh, I'm almost afraid to say winning, but I am so far. And now we're gonna leave a little bit more room here. So you don't have to measure these pieces. You're just going to cut them as wide as you need them for the greeting that you select. Leave a little bit above the one you're gonna put at the bottom and a little bit below the one you're gonna put at the top and you'll understand what I'm talking about in just a second here. Okay, there we go. I love this. Okay, next we're ready to put our card together. So I'm gonna leave that right there. We are going to nail this beast down. Let me close my ink pad up here quickly. We're gonna nail this down right in the middle of this layer. And I love this floral paper. It's just so, so pretty. Okay. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start building the inside piece that's gonna go across the front. And we're gonna have this. And then we're going to do our vellum. So our vellum is actually gonna go on the edge of our thank you. So we can take some glue at first, I like measured this vellum to go above and below this piece, but then I thought that's really dumb. That's, you know, that's a little tricky. So instead now, I just cut strips of it, which was pretty the way I should have done it to begin with. But I'll say it was genius. <laughs> it's not really that genius-y when you do it wrong the first time. Well, it wasn't really wrong. It was just dumb. It wasn't the smartest way I could have done it. And sometimes I just don't think of those things. And I just glued this on upside down. I can feel it. You can't really see it, so that's good. Is this one? Nope, this one's right side up. You know how you can feel which side of the die it die cut from, I guess is a good way to put it. Okay, so now I'm just lining this up. And look at how fancy that is, right? And you saw how simple it was for me to cut it out. Okay, now... We're going to bring this in and put it in the middle of this layer. Here we go. Now you're like, are you looking at the, uh, at the sides going, oh my gosh, the sides are so uneven. What is she doing? Okay, this looks kind of crummy. This looks kind of crummy. Don't worry about that because remember, this is like six and a quarter inches wide. We only need five and a half of it. Now I'm going to bring my snips in here. And I'm going to snip this and snip this and we're going to put this on either side, either side of the old olive. And you could trim this down if you wanted to, but who cares? doesn't matter whether it's this wide or a little bit thinner, whatever makes you happy. And now we're just going to center this on each side of our old navy layer. And I love this about these dies that you can just keep stacking them and they're spectacular. Here comes another piece. 
And I want to make sure I get the right side up here. I'm going to bring this in. And center this. Just like that. What do you guys think? Pretty cool, right? Oh, I think I forgot to do something. <laughs> I did. Meh. Okay, so this little piece was supposed to go down in here. So now I'm going to have to trim it. So you want to glue this onto your white layer first. Um, let me see. I have another one here. You want to glue this on here first before you attach the white layer. Okay. I kind of didn't do that, but we're going to, we're going to make it work. I'm just going to tuck mine a tiny little bit under there. Oh, that looks perfect. Let's see if I can fix it. There's always a way to fix stuff, right? Oh yeah, it's going to tuck a little bit. I'm going to put some glue on here. And then we're going to do our best to tuck that. Yep, perfect. Everything works out in the end. And then this little piece I'm going to have to do the same thing too because I glued that down. So this is, somebody said the other day that you show us this stuff so that we know how to correct mistakes. And she was sure that it's all planned. Yep. Sure enough. Look at how I can show you how to fix things. <laughs> and you all know my nose is growing right now with the lies. They're all lies. I sit on a throne of lies. Who knows what movie that's from? I sit on a throne of lies. Don't let me forget to tell you what movie that's from because it's one of my favorites. Okay, I think I'm going to put just a little, oh, ah, look at I just messed it up. Hang on. Before my glue dries. Okay, there we go. All right, now, where'd our card go? Here's our card. What we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to put this at a slant. And it's going to go right across here. And we're going to glue this right on our card. Or you could put it straight if you wanted to, okay? Let's see. I'm going to do glue. I'm not going all the way to the ends, you guys, because I don't want to get my scissors full of glue. So I'm going to put this, like, right here. And you want to kind of make sure it's centered. Make sure that you're not going off the ends of your two pieces here. Now, it looks kind of all stupid right now but it's going to get better. So hang tight. See, I got a little bit of glue there. I don't want that on my scissors because nobody likes sticky scissors. And now make sure you use your paper snips. They're nice and sharp. Okay. We got that cut off or you could put it in your paper cutter and cut it too, but this is kind of a lot to go through for a paper cutter. But I just like to use the edge of my card base as my guide. Look at that card! Is that not the coolest? Okay, so we're not done yet. Hang on. We've got these gilded gems, and I thought these would be really pretty on here. So I'm going to grab my Take Your Pick tool, and this is a pretty good sized layer. So I'm going to, whoops, I'm going to use the big ones. Hang on. I must not have enough putty out. Oh my goodness, look how pretty that is. And, hang on. <laughs> Easier said than done. Make sure that's in the middle. There we go, before I push it down. Does that look that looks good, right? What do you think? Okay, now I'm coming back to my Facebook page so I can see what's going on here. Okay, I'm back. Let me put these away so I don't lose them because I can see this being easy to get lost someplace. We don't want that. I just got this thing, right? I think one time I did have to buy a new set of dies because I lost one of my favorite ones out of it. And that was painful. Nobody wants to be spending money on that when you've already bought it, right? 
Okay, then what I decided to do here was to take the daisy from, oh, you know what? Yeah, this is what I want to do. Take the daisy from this, and I'm just going to put, I think I'll put it right over here. One daisy here, and then we're going to color it. And I'm going to use, let's see, what do I have here? This is dark calypso coral and light Cajun craze. I'm going to use these two colors. So I've got my dark calypso coral. And I'm just going to go around and do a little bit of shading with my dark color. So while I'm coloring, you guys have seen me do this before, but I'll tell you, I watched a video on my sister-in-law's Facebook page last night. So one of her really, really good, like probably her best friend's daughter's birthday was yesterday. And of course, everybody's quarantined and they got kids. And it's just kind of sad that, you know, she didn't get to celebrate her birthday with the family and the whole deal. So what everybody did was they made signs and... They put them on their cars and drove by her house in a car parade like there was 10 cars. They got all their friends together and there was 10 cars driving by her house. Whoops, that's not right. While um, they were all sitting in the living room. Hang on, I'm looking here. I'm going to go with light Calypso Coral. Sorry, you guys. Um, she was sitting in the living room. Her husband made sure she was in the living room so she would see the parade of cars and everybody honked their horns and they all had signs and they rolled down their windows and they hollered happy birthday to her and oh my gosh it was just the cutest thing this girl she's probably in her late 20s maybe um she was so cute she was just crying she was so touched by what they did and i'm like you know what that's really thinking out of the box and making things happen in an otherwise really crummy situation. You know, that's going to be a birthday that she is never, ever going to forget. The year that all my mom's and dad's friends, this is our color lifter, by the way. I went out of the lines here. All of her mom and dad's friends got together in their vehicle and drove by her house to wish her a happy birthday. This is our Mango Melody Dark. And then I'm going to bring in my Old Olive. But isn't that the sweetest thing ever? I just, I was almost in tears watching her be in tears because I thought, you, that is the nicest thing, you guys. It was so nice. And then on the TV today, on the TV, <laughs> um, I was watching, I did watch a little bit of news after I got out of the shower and I was thinking about, you know, talking to my mom about the squirrel incident I watched the news and some guy his mom was in an assisted living facility and she's on the third floor and of course he can't visit her this is light and dark old olive by the way isn't that just pretty it's pretty now we're going to do a little wink of Stella on it he can't visit his mom in the assisted living facility but he owns a like a landscaping company and they have one of those lift machines I can't remember what it's called but kind of like a genie where you get in the bucket and it lifts you up to like put a window in a house or something. He took his lift machine to his mom's facility and he raises it up to the third level floor and is outside the window so he can talk to his mother. I thought, oh, lady, you did good, right? That is a good son to do something, to go to those lengths so he could see his mom. And I just thought that was precious. So what a wonderful way to still be able to visit and not be causing any harm or panic or, you know, just staying away. I thought that was really neat. Okay, here comes our inside of our card. Oh, and I know there is one more thing I want to do because I'm not ready to let you guys go yet. <laughs> is that okay? Guys, is that okay with you that I'm not ready to let you go yet? Look at how pretty that is. What do you guys think? I love this. I got this just a little bit crooked. There we go. I got. To, I moved it just a touch. Okay, so it says, I wasn't sure how to thank you, so here's a card. And then you've got lots of room to write in here. And the last thing I want to do, of 
course, is bring in an envelope. Do you guys love the Stampin' Up! envelopes? They just feel so rich and high class. I love them. I am going to bring this giant flower image in here. I need to grab a great big block. Here comes a giant block. Yep, that'll work. And, ouch. I probably just broke my fingernail. I bumped my fingernail. I bumped my fingernails into my drawer, and it they just bend over. They're just like paper. There's nothing to them. They're so horrible. Okay, we're gonna do the envelope flap. I want this to be really pretty. So I just take a piece of paper and fold it and put your envelope in there so that you're not gonna get ink all over everything else. And I'm gonna grab my terracotta tile. Oh, look at that's hanging off the edge. That's not going to work. There we go. And when I have a big stamp like this, I like to bring my ink pad to it versus doing this. Because then I can see a little bit better what I'm doing. Ooh, this is going to be pretty. Look at that. Gorgeous. And how am I going to get this in here so I don't mess it up? I'm going to stand up. Ah. Nope. I'm going to go like this. <gasps> That's pretty good. Okay, now I need to get a little something something in there, you guys. Here's a long leaf. I'm going to ink up this leaf right here and try to get it in here without making a disastrous mess. Look at that. Look at that envelope. Is that not gorgeous? Yeah. So... Hang on, where'd my card go? Oh, here it is. Here's the card. Here's the envelope. Absolutely love, love, love this suite. How many of you guys have a um, stamp and chamois? Yeah, this is my cleaning chamois, and I absolutely love this too. It, I don't understand how it works. I don't understand how this is black, but my stamps get clean. I don't get it. But you know what? I'm one of those people that a lot of times I don't care how things work. I just want them to work. So I'm happy that it does. But there is our beautiful card with the ornate... Whoops! Things are falling. The ornate garden specialty designer series paper. And then here are all the dies. You get... Let's see. Nine dies in the edgelet one. You get... Eight dies in the um, layering dies. This is what they all look like. We used this one right here, this one right here, and we used the embossing folder, which I don't know where it went, but it's here someplace. These are absolutely gorgeous. Just so, so gorgeous. I am going to have so much fun with this. So, you guys might as well order it right now. <laughs> I don't mean to be bossy, but you're going to want to have it because I am going to be making a ton of stuff with this suite of products. And you're going to want to stamp along with me. I just know it. Now, when you order this suite from me, you are going to get the online class for free. You're going to order the suite with this number. This is a little different than my other online classes where I have you fill out a form. Oh, I'm going to turn you around now, okay? So hang tight. Let's get you turned around. This is a little different than my other online classes in that you don't have to fill out a form and then I in invoice you through PayPal. I'm going to let you go to my store and buy this suite. That saves me a tremendous amount of time. And to thank you for doing that, I am going to give you the pre-cut cardstock for free. And also, you're going to get, um, where's my list? You're going to, hang on, i got to find my list. I don't want to tell you the wrong stuff for this because oh, I hate it when I have to correct myself. Okay, so you're going to get the online class for free. You're going to get the pre-cut card stock pack. There are going to be eight cards in there, all using this suite. Plus, there's going to be a four-card set with a really cute box. That's all in this online class that you get for free when you order the bundle from me, the suite. 
And um, you're also going to get, when you order from me in April, you're going to get a 20 card tutorial with 20, about 20 more ideas using this suite of products. So holy cow. Now, if you've already ordered the suite from me, you're going to be included in this. If you have, if you're a demonstrator and you've already ordered it, I totally get it. You can order the online class and the pre-cut cardstock pack from me for $40. If you don't want the pre-cut cardstock pack, you can order just the online class for $25. And that option, the $25 option is open to global stampers, meaning if you're outside the United States, you can order this online class from me. I can't send you a pre-cut cardstock pack and I can't you can't order the bundle from me but you can get the online class if you want it. And if you're on my team, all of my team members who have put in their very first demonstrator order or discount shopper order using their discount, once you have done that, you qualify for all my online classes for free and then I have a special button that you can order the pre-cut cardstock packs from me using that button. Oh, that was a lot and I'm glad I grabbed my little list here because I'm like, oh my lord, I don't want to screw this up, right? <laughs> so, order the bundle, get the class free, get the pre-cut cardstock free. You're going to get another file with 20 different ideas. Each one of my eight cards plus the four cards plus the card box has an exclusive um, video tutorial for all the projects. And the, the one thing I want to make sure you guys know, when you order the pre-cut cardstock pack, it does not include anything except pre-cut cardstock. It does not include the layers for the designer series paper. So if you order the suite from me, you're going to have it, right? But if you don't order the suite from me, you're going to make sure that you have this on hand at home or something else that you may want to use. But I recommend this, you know. Um, so I want to make sure that I'm not like misleading anybody. Only cardstock in the pre-cut cardstock pack. Um, you can substitute other ribbons if you don't have the ribbon combo pack that comes with it. Okay. Um, you can you can substitute other gems if you don't have the gilded gems. You can actually even substitute other designer series paper. I don't know why you'd want to, but you certainly can if you don't have this. But you are going to need the suite. You just need the suite. You need the stamp sets. You need the dies to be able to do this online class for me. As with all of my online classes, I always tell you, if you don't order them from me, that's fine. I get it. But you're going to need the items that I show that people are going to get if they order them from me. Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh, Jude is on here. She says she's so glad that she bought the demonstrator packet through me. She actually became a demonstrator because of all your tutorials. I am really happy to hear that. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, Jude. Kim is watching, and we've got Ellen on here. So that's, that's my stamping for today. I can't hardly wait. Now, this card, you know, it was a lot. I'm not just sending this to anybody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's going to have to be for something really good. <laughs> like I'm thanking you for something really good. No, I'm just being facetious. But um, it, it it's a lot of steps, but you saw how easy it was. We did this all in probably about, I don't know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, maybe not even 30 minutes, I don't think, because I've been yakking longer than I've been stamping, I think. Um, oh, that's so sweet. Thank you, Joe. If you weren't a demonstrator, you'd sign up under me. I do not want to steal demonstrators from other people. I do not want to steal demonstrators from other demonstrators. That is not what I want to be known for. So you're getting, you're being taken care of. You stay with your, you stay with your team leader. Yeah, but I understand. I understand what you're saying. Anyhow, how are you guys doing? How are you doing? I was really touched and I can't remember who sent it to me, but I still have it. Somebody sent me, um, an email and said thank you for all the live videos and I've been having so much fun and all the things she goes but has anybody asked how are you doing meaning me and I'm like oh yeah I'm fine I'm good I don't know what I'll be in a week like we don't know right but I'm all good um, I'm busier than I have ever been and that is keeping me busy and occupied and 
Um, I'm, I'm almost to the point where I need to take a little break so I can get these kits out of my house. I have, people have paid for kits and I need to get them in the mail. So, Kim has bronchitis right now. That's not good. And Sue says she is a demonstrator, but she doesn't have an upline anymore. Um, if you don't have any upline anymore, Sue, you can contact Stampin' Up. I believe that if you do not have an upline, you can transfer to anybody that you want. But it has to be all the levels, I think. So your first line, your second line, your third line, you might want to call them and check that out. Because if you do not have an upline, you can transfer to somebody's team. I would love to have you. <laughs> but I don't want people jumping ship because... That is not who I am. I don't want to be responsible for that. I don't want other demonstrators contacting me and saying that I'm stealing their their team members. That that's gonna that'll push me over the edge. <laughs> I don't want to be that person. Oh, Becky said you said to remind you about the movie. Not sure if you saw my response. I didn't because I didn't have my screen on. Is it Elf? So I said, you sit on a throne of lies. Yes, it's Elf. I love that movie. It makes me giggle every time. And then, um, I think yesterday on our regular TV, I think, or maybe it was a movie channel, I don't know. But anyways, I saw in the guide that um, the first Jumanji, not the very first one that had Robin Williams in it, that was a great movie. But the early, the later release now, the first of the two, there's two Jumanji movies, the first of the two was on TV yesterday, so I taped it. Oh, the Rock. The Rock is in it. Brrr. He's hot. <laughs> I like him a lot. So I'll be watching that after Gone Girl. Or maybe I'll watch it while I'm doing kits, because I don't have to pay close attention to the Jumanji movie like I think I will have to Gone Girl, right? But, um, oh, and Terry... Haley was eating my Sour Patches today, so I'm glad you sent me a box of them because I had some of them left over from the movie last week. I'm glad that I have a full box, so when I get ready to sit down and pop my Jiffy Popcorn, I can eat my Sour Patches with it. Yeah. So, yes, you were correct. Elf is the movie. I love Elf. Um, um, what is that when he says you're a something-something ninny muggins? <laughs> My stepdaughter Stephanie can recite just about every funny phrase out of that movie. She's really good at that. I'm not good at that. But it's hysterical because she will pop off with those elf sayings all the time. I get the biggest kick out of it. Um, Nancy says, Stampin' Up! is your upline and has been for a long time. I didn't think you could transfer. If you're sure there's nobody above you, I believe that you can. I, I may be wrong. I'm not going to swear by it, but I'm pretty sure that I have heard that. If you don't have a team leader, you can transfer to somebody. Now, it may be that if you do that, you have to start over. That would be kind of a game changer and a no deal for many people, right? But I'm not even sure. You Just call them and ask them. Does anybody else know the rule about that? I'm not sure. Buddy the Elf, what's your favorite color? I love it when he says, Santa, Santa, I know him. I love that part. That's what I said when I met Santa at the um, Machine Shed restaurant at Christmas time. Like the Santa for our area was at the Machine Shed. He um, comes in from Wyoming and stays here for the month of December. And he is our Santa Claus in Appleton. And he was at the Machine Shed and I was just like, that's Santa. Like, that's the pictures that Haley has in her baby pictures with Santa. That's him right there. And I went over and I took a selfie with him. He's so cute. Um, but he sits at a giant table at the machine shed, like a great big, huge round table. And anybody can come in and sit with him and have breakfast. And he eats there for free every day. It's really, really cool. So, yeah. Okay. Um, What time is it? 7.15. I'm getting kind of hungry. Hi, Carol Fox. I'm happy to see you. And, um, oh my goodness, I hope you guys don't flood Stampin' Up! with this question because I don't want to get in any trouble. But just know that I'm telling you right now, I'm pretty sure that's the way it works. I'm not 100% sure. I could be totally wrong. I don't know. And I, yeah, I don't want to get in trouble for anything. I play it pretty, not pretty, I play it very straight and to the rules because... 
<sighs> being in a position like I'm in, there are a lot of people that are watching me to just make a little error. And um, I've done stuff wrong before. I've been, I've, I've gotten, I've gotten the phone call from compliance at Stampin' Up because I did something I didn't know I couldn't do. But I corrected it right away, and they're really good about that. They'll just call you and say, hey, you can't do that. And I'm like, oh, I had no idea. Why can't I do it? And then they explain it, and you're like, okay. Didn't know. They're not really, we don't have a lot of rules, but, I mean, there's certain things you can't do. But anyways, yeah, I don't want you guys jumping ship. That's not who I want to be known as. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Stampin' Up! demonstrator that stole other people's um, team members. No, that's not who I need to be. Can you tell that makes me a little nervous? <laughs> because I don't want to get that reputation. Anywho. Um, oh, thank you. Gilmore says, go enjoy your dinner and don't get in trouble. That's right. I do not want to be in trouble. I got enough things to deal with. I don't need to be in trouble. Oh, Claudia says it's only 5.15. Well, it's 7.15 here. You guys don't do daylight savings time, though, and we do. Okay. Got to run. Have yourselves a wonderful evening. I will pop on tomorrow. I don't know when. What's tomorrow even? Thursday? Yeah. But I got to get these kits done. I'm telling you, I got to get the kits done. So we'll see how I can do. I'll be your pretend upline. Yeah, we could pretend, Helen. It's, it's good. I have a really great imagination. <laughs> okay, I think, did I forget anything? Did anybody ask a question when I was not on the screen to see your comments that I might have missed? I'm not a ship jumper leader. Exactly, exactly. That's exactly right. Oh my gosh, Sue said it's late there. Where are you from? Was it Sue? Sue Amoyette. I slaughtered your name. Where are you from, Sue? I want to know. Jane, Jane, I'm praying for you to get your arm healed also. There's a lot of stamping awaiting you, my friend. What are you guys having for dinner? Did you eat dinner yet? So I have my choice between um, clam chowder that Steve picked up from the deli at our local grocery store, so it's delicious, or um, spaghetti that he made, like kind of from scratch, but he put he added stuff to the sauce. Half the sauce is homemade, half the sauce is from a jar, and then he adds some fresh tomatoes and mushrooms and excuse me I know I'm touching my face but my nose itches I don't have a tool to fix that <laughs> no we, we won't go that far I promise never <laughs> nobody's telling me what they had for dinner what are you guys having for supper oh I got Jane saying I know can you still order the ladybug dyes Wendy Sue Wendy Sue is hysterical. So this morning, the first message I get is, I was trying to order the ladybug dies. Can I still get them? And literally, Wendy Sue, I was like, oh my God, are you kidding me? Not mean to you, but it happens every time. Like I, I tell everybody, this is over, this is over, this is over by this date. This is over, this is over, this is over. And it never fails. The next day after something is over, somebody asks me that and they want it. And it breaks my heart. So Wendy Sue messages me this morning and Wendy is part of my team and she's a character and um, I should have guessed that you were giving me a hard time because she's really on top of things too. But she messaged me this morning and says, I was trying to order the ladybug dies and I, they won't come up on my order. Do you know what's going on? <laughs> and I went, oh my Lord. It made me so sad. But then she said, April Fool's. It was a good one, Wendy Sue. Harmless and good. Somebody said something about their husband. My husband wants to know why you wear a crown. Kathy. Okay. What's your husband's name? Because I've been known to give a little shout out to a husband once in a while. Oh, chicken fajita salad. Tony, I'm jealous. Pork chops and rice and gravy sounds delicious. Now I'm getting really hungry. Turkey tetrazzini with peas. My goodness, you guys eat good. Connie's got mac and cheese, hot dogs, and cabbage. That's even good. I like a good hot dog once in a while. Squash, Bonnie, you lost me a little bit. <laughs> oh, but your husband had two pot pies. I like a pot pie. Yeah. So what was the question? Oh, why do I wear a crown? 
Do you see how fast it goes out of my head? Elaine, really barbecued ribs? You've got to be kidding me. That's one of my favorite meals. So here's why I wear a crown. A few years ago, my best friends, Barb and Dina, Barb um, lives in Wyoming, Dina lives in Iowa, and we get together. So we, I think it was when, yeah, we were, Dina and I flew out to Wyoming and we spent the week with Barb and we work, work, worked. I mean, we worked our butts off when we were together because we collaborate on online classes and stuff like that. But um, we went to the Target and at the Target, I think this is where it happened. At the Target, they had little cheap tiaras. And so I just looked at those and I'm like, I put one on. I'm like, I think we need to wear these. And then I think it was Dina that said, I just think we're better together and we should wear tiaras. And so from that point forward, whenever the three of us are together, it can't be just two of us because sometimes I go to some events around here that Dina can come to being in Iowa, right? Only when the three of us are together do we all wear our crowns. And it's just funny. We wear them everywhere. We wear them to the gas station. We wear them out to eat. We wear them on the airplane when we're going to meet each other. We each have our crowns on because we're coming together. And don't you just stamp better when you wear a crown? Like, have you ever tried it? You should try it. You should get yourself a tiara because I know that I stamp better with a tiara on. Very serious. <laughs> I am. That's how it happened. And then the last Stampin' Up! event I went to, I think was in Michigan, and I had people coming up to me and saying, I almost didn't recognize you. I had no idea you were sitting right over there because you're not wearing your tiara. So I promised everybody that, and so many people said that to me, I promised everybody that from now on, when I go to a Stamping Up event, you will be able to identify me because I am the lunatic in the tiara. There you have it. <laughs> I know, because we're better when we're together and everybody stamps better with a tiara on. Like when Barb, Dina, and I together, it is nonstop laughter and cracking jokes one after another. And it helps that all the husbands are pretty funny too. Like Barb's married to a sheriff and he's hysterical. He comes up with the best one-liners. Dina's husband is a rocket scientist. <laughs> and he is very sarcastic and more serious but super funny. Like he's got a ripping sense of humor and then there's my Steve and you guys all know he's a character right yeah so oh somebody was a princess for their local town Heather was that's so cool I think that my sister was my sister was rodeo queen one time that was pretty cool yeah we uh did you guys know that about me that I used to raise and train and show horses maybe that's something we'll talk about tomorrow I think probably inquiring minds want to, want to know. By the time the CQ 2020 is over, you guys, you're going to know way more about me than you ever cared to know. I guarantee it. <laughs> but shout out to all the husbands that are watching with their wives. They are emailing me and messaging me and telling me that you guys are learning a lot and I am very proud of you. And thank you for letting, not not letting, that's the wrong word because I'm not, I'm all about you. You're not letting me do nothing. Or not letting me do nothing. Like, I'm pretty stubborn about that. One time, my husband, I wanted, this was way back, I wanted a full-size conversion van because we were doing a lot of driving to long distances, soccer tournaments, and I wanted a super nice vehicle to travel in. And it was way used, so don't get me wrong. I wasn't buying anything new. But I told my husband that, and he came home one day, and he said, you know what? My brother just bought his wife uh, some type of station wagon. <sighs> Sorry if you have a station wagon, but I'm not going to have one. Just bought his wife a station wagon, and that's what you're going to get. Did you fall and have a lobotomy, Steve Atchison? Because I don't think you're going to tell me what I'm going to have, number one. And number two... Nobody's buying my vehicle. He bought her a station wagon. Nobody's buying me a vehicle here. I'm paying for my own vehicle. So within two days, I had a full-size conversion van in the driveway. Like, you're not going to tell me what I'm driving. <laughs> That's how I operate. 
So you'd think that after being married to me for so long that he would know that you don't tell me what I'm going to do. We can discuss it like adults and you may be able to persuade me why your idea is a better idea than mine. I, I'm, I'm a big girl. I can do that. But you're not going to tell me that I'm not going to get something because that's not the way this all works. <gasps> I'm pretty stubborn that way. Okay, so more than you wanted to know. All right, you guys. Our time together tonight has been really fun. Oh, how to make the baby crib card, Joe. <laughs> Joe wants to know how to make baby crib card. Um, I can teach you how to make a card very similar to that. I do not have baby crib rail dies, uh, but I'll see if I can figure out. You've been so sweet. <laughs> I'll see if I can figure it out. Okay. I think I'll probably do mine with animals. Well, that's animals too. I don't know if it'll be a baby card. You don't really care. I know. I'm just, things are running through my head like it's going, how am I going to do that? What am I going to use? What stamp set's going to match? Da, da, da. That's how it works. Okay. I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for spending the evening with me. I hope you are doing well. I hope that you're keeping your spirits high. Remember, this too shall pass. And that's something that I've used throughout my life. I've had, um, I've had some rough spots. Uh, and, you know, and usually I can, my memory is going, yeah, that's a phrase that I've used a lot throughout my life when things weren't going so well and money got super tight and I wasn't quite sure how I was going to get the bills paid. How was I going to pay that huge electric bill? How was I going to um, pay my car payment? Like, there's been some rough patches. I am, I am... I've been through those just like anybody else. But that was always my phrase. I would always like, don't panic. We need to remain calm. This too shall pass. And that's, that's how I feel about this whole situation. We need to get through it. We need to keep our eye on the prize at the end, which is our freedom, right? Our social freedom. And this too shall pass. That's what I'm going with, you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.